Now let's get a pulse check on the state of commercial real estate. CBRE Group, the world's largest commercial real estate services and investment firm, out with third quarter results, beating on both the top and the bottom lines. They also just announced that they are taking on WeWork with the launch of HANA. Shares of CBRE down about 5% this year. Here for a Power Lunch exclusive is Bob Salentic, the president and CEO of CBRE Group. Bob, great to have you back. Good to be here, Melissa. Thanks for joining us. We'll get to HANA in just a minute, but, you know, we've gotten through earnings season and there was a period of time, like last week, when people were really concerned about companies' outlook for the economy. So what have you seen? You rent out space, you invest in all different sorts of sectors. And so are there sectors that are stronger than others, weaker than others? We're seeing the economy around the world being very healthy for what we do. Commercial real estate is strong because there's a lot of capital that wants to go into it. And because occupiers or tenants uh, want to take space, that came through in our results. We had mid-double-digit growth around the world in leasing, strong capital flows into real estate. So we're seeing good things that are a little out of sync with some of the headlines. So you're not seeing any, uh, you know, industrial uh, customers, for instance, having a dimmer outlook on the economy versus health care? which would be well, reflected in what we've seen in the stock market. Healthcare technology is certainly very strong right now. Uh -huh. What are you seeing in terms of Asia? And is there any concern that the trade wars will impact Asia, given that Asia is about 2% of your adjusted EBITDA? Asia has been a little slower on a relative basis than Europe and the United States uh, in the last few months, uh, and we're watching that closely. But again, around the world, we've seen good things. We've seen good leasing generally everywhere. Capital flows a little slower into the U.S. from China than before, but that's being made up for by pla places like Korea and Singapore. What about interest rates? Because, of course, we talk a lot about how uh, buyers of homes might be influenced by higher mortgage rates. What about in commercial real estate? In commercial real estate, the rise in interest rates really hasn't been an, uh, a factor yet. And what's, what's making up for the rise in interest rates pushing in the other directions is just a massive amount of both debt and equity capital that wants to be in commercial real estate. We've seen much bigger capital flows around the world this year in commercial real estate than we did last year. Um, I'm curious about HANA and this new offering, and, and is it really a competitor to WeWork, and, and is there any degree of cannibalization to your core business? I mean, could you be in a situation where somebody says, you know what, we want to go for the HANA flexible workspace as opposed to signing a firm lease commitment? The strategy for HANA mm -hmm. is to work in partnership with the landlords we serve today. We lease about a, mi a billion square feet of office space um, for landlords around the world in multi-tenant buildings. They wanted this product. They wanted the ability to do flex space in their buildings in partnership with somebody that could build the space, market the space, and operate it for them. That flex space market is growing rapidly. Today it makes up about 1% of the office space around the world in multi-tenant buildings, we think that's going to go to as much as 10 percent over the next few years. Big opportunity. Looking at midterms on Tuesday, how important is the outcome to the way you see the outlook for the rest of this year and for 2019? We're in our ninth year of double-digit growth. It hasn't mattered whether there's been Democrats or Republicans in control. It's, it, things have gone well. The, the economy's been good and our business is performing really well. We're doing some things for our clients that our competitors aren't able to do, and we don't think it has anything to do with who's in power politically. Things are coming up roses, Bob. There's got to be one thing, one <laughs> thing that keeps you up. Uh, labor. Um, okay. uh, the unemployment is getting so low, and a lot of the growth in the economy has come, by add, uh, come from adding jobs in the tech sector, in the healthcare sector, right. and so forth. If it gets tough to hire people, then that could be an issue. Yeah. But right now, everything's uh, looking pretty good. Bob, thank you. Nice to see you. Bob Salentic, the CEO of CBRE Group.